Hello, this is Jen Jeff here, and we are back with Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and we are taking to, well, we're going to do something different this time. Uh, do we want to boost? Uh, we'll boost technology. Technology is always a good thing to have. Oh, it saved my uh, light cruisers. Uh, my light cruisers, my armored cruisers. Hmm. That's cool. That's not what I wanted to do, though. Clear. Modern battleship. This. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's just, just. That's big. Okay, so we're gonna go 28 knots. But what we're going to do is, because someone mentioned that we could use. Well, we could. Someone said that we could shoot the. Um, cruisers and sink them. And that would count. So we're going to actually try that. Make sure this guy is very well protected. Anti-flood. Citadel. Range is unimportant. Okay, and we're going to go with auto-reloading and electro grow. And then my favorite... oh, how's the high TNT? It's expensive, we'll put it that way. And then we're going to increase the armor on the conning tower to, like, 14. Uh, get us that, get us this, and get us that. And now we need our main tower. Should be a modern tower. And then we need our secondary tower. Oh boy, you're kind of an ugly thing, aren't you? Plop that there. I don't know where I'm going to put the rear tower. I don't know where I'm going to put a couple things, to be honest. Main guns, centerline guns. Let's grab 16s. Do I want three barrels? Okay, what we're going to do is probably leave that there. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we actually have tonnage left over. So yeah, one of the things we'll be doing is shooting the cruisers first. I do like that. There's no way... Let's look at that. Let's look at that. There's no way there's not. it's getting quite that field of fire, but whatever. What I should do is grab this, move it forward. Oh, cool! It's dragging the back end of the boat! And this fixes the aft weight offset. Woot. Okay, and we need some funnels. Do we need mega funnels? Let's scroll down. Oh, just a standard mega funnel. Standard mega funnel. Let's see if we can do something. Will induce still work? Induce still works natural. Natural does not, but balanced. Boiler weight. So we're going to shoot the armor or the cruisers and see if that allows us to win. I don't believe it will, to be honest, but hey, you never know. And we're going to have two barrels. Oh, let's see. Torpedo launchers. Can I stick some nice torpedo launchers on the deck? Yes, I can. I can stick them here. But I'm not going to. I'm going to stick them there. I kind of like how that looks better. We can only afford one battleship. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, we can only afford one. I can reduce the weight. And then we can afford two. Let's bring this down to 6,500 tons if possible. Nope. 6,600 tons. Ooh. There we go. So we don't have a lot more money to play with. I want to have some secondary guns. Uh, 
Is there like any place I can stick this that won't be dumb? No, it just wants to do it there, and that's going to limit the angle for these, so I don't want to do anything like that. Secondary guns, we're going to have duels of fives. And we're going to put them on until we can't if we're, well, until we're, we're stuck with two gun, with uh, one ship, and then go back on them a little bit. Four-inch guns, can I stick these anywhere? I could put it there, but no. Uh, Three-inch guns, two barrels. Does that mess up with that? No, it does not. You know, I think I could stick three barrels on here. Let's go back to the five inch guns. You know, we can stick the three inch on here. It says I can put it there, but no. And then the four inch. Nope. Well, technically I can, but doesn't have the auto snap spots. Still two. Will that block fire from that? No, it does not. That is good. I can also place you on the back. And it doesn't block fire. Good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Any casemate? No. Two inchers. Space for singles. And we do have some spare tonnage. Now, did that block that? Yeah, these block. Like put it in no, it won't let me do that. Okay, that's a nice looking boat. Hmm. We stuttering sometimes. That's mostly because it's highlighting different areas as I swing over it. Some parts are badly placed, because that was being blocked. Okay. Torpedo launchers. Let's just kind of toss one of these on here. And that gets us... That balanced out the ship a little bit better. And it gets us some torpedoes. Will not... Uh, maybe if I move these in. I think that helps. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And those can be fired like directly aft almost. So that got me a pretty good little boat. Boost the armor. Some people have been saying that I put I should put really, 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 really heavy armor on these boats. It's kind of like that's a bit excessive. Some of the armoring you're putting on your ships. We got seven inch belt extended. Okay, so we're right on the verge of having two battleships or one battleship, but we're going for two, which will be a lot easier to manage compared to with our fleet of. Armored cruisers, and that is a pretty nice looking ship. Secondaries are nothing to shake a stick at either. Sixteen inch guns, but we're going for the armored cruisers, so it should be fine. I like how I zoom out, the center gun kind of like seems to de render. Then you go far enough out different stages of rendering, which is nice. So, 
We got some spare tonnage, but there's not much we can do with it because that brings us over the cost. So, let's go. <clears throat> and missing modern tower. Nagato and Okasan. Okay, that might be interesting to look at. Austria Hungarian? Okay, or Japan. So it's giving me a missing required mount, modern tower, sec 5, error. Oh well. Two heavy cruisers, one battleship, four destroyers. Smoke spotted to the southwest. Of course, like away from us. We'll go at full speed for the time being. How long does this take to load? Oh, almost two rounds a minute. Very good. All the five inch guns. Rate of fire 7.55 rounds a minute. Smoke spotted to the west. Oh, we're kind of pretty much heading straight west anyway. The three inch guns fire 16 round, 16 and a half rounds a minute. The two inch guns fire 29 rounds a minute. And the torpedo fires, those are small torpedoes. 14 kilometer range, damage 2,679, 20 a launcher. Reload 600 seconds, reload uh, rate of fire 0 0.01. Torpedo speed 46 knots. How far away could they possibly be? Like really? Are they steaming away from us, which would be a real pain, because they'd probably never catch up at that point. Seeing as they're putting freaking 40 knot capital ships in the game. Just with the random design. So now we just wait. Wait and wait and wait as we steam full speed ahead. Okay, we do see something. So let's go out there. It is steaming away. Okay, that hit the rear of the turret. That should have caused some damage. Ooh, lighting bug. Look at the boat flash. Alter direction slightly. 16 inch guns are reloading. Yeah, with plunging fire, we're not doing anything. So, shell type, high explosive. Let's hit it with a few high explosive rounds because it is leaving. Okay, we just overpinned. isn't doing anything either. Because those are bouncing. And look at those shells spin through the air as they come down. Twenty seven point six kilometers. It doesn't see us yet, even though we're shooting at it. And anything no. I don't think high explosive shells are exactly working like they should be. Because they should be hitting and exploding, not hitting and bouncing. But they're acting as, um, AP. Some of them are, at least. <sighs> so let's switch back to auto, which should be AP. 
perhaps after that volley it'll be AP. I honestly don't know what you're shooting at over there. So here it comes in. There we go, rudder damage and flooding apparently. So let's go back to these guys and what you're going to do is you guys are going to start heading off in that direction and maybe we can get the stern turret in too which has full range of movement, 360 degrees of ability to turn. Although I do think I found a bug in that if I do that, click on this, it gives me the uh, reports. So now I somehow know it's flooding. And I honestly don't know where you people are shooting. So. Penetration. Mid-deck. But we're not doing a hell of a lot. Too much of anything. No sign of even the destroyers or the cruisers. So... I thought this was supposed to be a high-tech ship. Is it not using big guns so it doesn't want to fight? Because those do look like small guns. Let's try the secondary gun. It's not turning towards us to fight. Are we reducing... Yeah, we're catching up to it. Damage to the main gun. Some more penetrating hits. Destroyed a secondary gun. That's a nice thing on secondary gun. And he has fired. Finally. That's left a giant gaping hole in that gun. <laughs> Oof. That's left a giant hole. Okay, so now... Now it's basically realized that we're here. Uh, 47% identified. Ooh. Damaged main gunshot. And let's fly back to you, because shells are in your way. That was kind of tough. Like, who do I want to watch get hit? Looks like you're going to miss by a mile. Bounce. And there. So you're on fire. You are taking damage. Several of your second. Why are so many of your secondaries on this side taken out? Oh. Oh. Because that shell came here, went through, and came back out. <laughs> well, that's a way to do it. Secondary, destroyed another secondary, destroyed another secondary. We're just going through and punching right through the superstructure. 53% identified. How about you guys? Those shells hit you yet? Have you been hit once yet? Let's alter course slightly. Not really. Can you fire? That is my question. Can that rear turret fire yet? I believe it can. No, it can't. Not that it matters. We've been doing a bit of a number to this thing as time has been going on. It did turn and change course, so it's now square on for our shots. taken a pounding so far. 
I think this time it will be relatively trivial to take it out. Oof, damage from that gun. I don't really want to slow down because this guy seems to be going at a good clip too. Damage the main gun. Rudder damaged and flooding. This guy will be firing shortly. Battle damage is taking the speed down automatically anyway. Full speed's 22 knots. So here's our incoming. More flooding. Destroyed another secondary gun. Followed their rounds in. Okay, so all of our guns are able to fire now. On one ship, not so much for you. Sixty six per cent identified. A couple more hits. Another hit. Destroyed second well damaged secondary tower. You have a lot of holes. We fire you seem to fire twice as often as this guy does. It'd be funny to see one of those shells hit each other in the air as they're traveling. And... Main gun damaged. Some bouncing. It's down to half health. So you've gotten some damage. Now we got a much better angle this time, so a lot of this is luck. Yep. Some flooding. Partial pens. Around that hits but does not penetrate does not penetrate but fractures the armor. So we're kind of wearing out the armor a bit. Some shells went out towards you. Just one turret. I don't think it's going to hit, though. Did. Hmm. Yeah, we fire a lot faster than they do. Which is good for us. There we go. There we go. Look at all the shells we've got coming. How far away are we now? 21.3 kilometers. 44% chance for any one individual shell to fall in the Another damage in the main gun, which is good. But now they've got a nice volley coming towards you. Speed everything up. We fire a lot faster. Damage on that main gun. But not serious. And you have a nice volley coming for you. Oof. Partials, some extended. Yeah, it's not going well for this guy. He's already kind of listing. Looks like he's going to be turning away, too. Should be annoying. Oh, as he turns, we've got another volley coming at him. Right, there go the two bow turrets. He's having rate of fire issues. Main tower fire control damaged. Damage the main gun again. 
I think he's turning away. Let's zoom over. He misses badly. Come back this way. Yeah, he's turning away to get away from us. Which is kind of annoying because it's probably going to be a 40 knot battleship. Definitely turn it. And there we go. Did your shots do anything? Nope. Now these other guys, are they in range? Oh, they're in range of the torpedoes, but they're in they keep coming this way, they'll be in range of the 5 inch guns. 64% chance to hit. Still unidentified. Yeah, this is going to be a pain. 94% identified. catch up to him, we're going to have to turn into the, his escorts. And that's not really a fun prospect. Okay, so they're starting to shoot now, the other smaller ships. Monarch. 27 knot ship. Okay. Probably not doing 27 knots anymore. And one thing is going to be that these are going to be able to launch torpedoes if they have not already. Destroyed secondary gun, fire. Fourteen percent. What are you fire? Probably eight inch guns. It's not gonna do much at that range. Damage the main gun. Okay, so turning, you're giving me raking fire, you're down to 13%. 16.5 inch armor at best. I kind of want to turn, because those destroyers would have launched all their torpedoes by now. Let's turn towards them. final volley of all the turrets and then we'll be turning towards this guy because he's running away and what have we got he's got 17 inch guns high TNT propellant yeah he's going to be a problem Eight knots, so there's 27. 13 still. Oof, there we go. Conning tower damaged. I can't spot for himself anymore. I think most of his secondaries are out too. 
this point, I would not be surprised if most of his secondaries are out of action. He's not exactly having a good day. Wow, we're getting some really telling hits. Setting him on fire. He's got six in secondaries. I don't really care how he, what guns he fires, it doesn't matter. Oh, that didn't matter. That wasn't that big of a hit there. Gun. Ooh. That main gun is destroyed. That's pretty bad for him. Yeah, I don't think he's managed a lot of hits. Do that. Your speed is only 17.3 knots at the moment when your top speed is supposed to be 27. 105,000 tons! Not identified yet. And top speed. Current speed is 26.8, top speed is 28. So we'll be catching up to this guy pretty quickly. And you fire your couple shots to the rear. A bunch of non-effectual hits. And destroyed a main gun again, apparently. Destroyed the main tower. And you're on fire. But he's still at 13. gun's taken out now, is it? Yes. He's only got one turret to fire back with. I'm worried that this guy can still pull a decent decent speed. Not, that he's not actually limited just 17 knots, it's just his current speed. It's like we can't get any additional damage done on him. Oh. Well, you guys are doing a brilliant job, aren't you? I need to get closer to you. Half your firepower is out of service, so... Yeah, you're not going to be in good shape. 17.2 knots, that's your current speed. So much for zeroing in on the target, eh? It's like, fire everything! Ah, close. Let's look at you guys. You are ugly buggers, we'll put it that way. You're maneuvering too fast for your own good, which is good for me. And we have rendering errors, because that turret doesn't look right. That went through. That went through him. We have a ghost ship. That armored cruiser is a ghost ship. Can we actually hit him? It looks like our shells are actually going through him. Let's see. How about this time? Uh, help if they were actually even close. Would help if they were close. Six percent chance to hit, really? Oh, well, if you hit, it's like a guaranteed damaging shot. What is the ship in the back doing? 
Now they're shooting the destroyers. Huh, we did hit. Uh, bow deck extended over pen 372 damage. And it is on fire with flooding. This guy is being shot at by all the secondaries. Look at all the five inch shells in the air. Yeesh. Missed. Uh, more misses? More misses. You've been hit again just by the sheer number of five inch shells sailing your way. Yeah, it's gonna split the difference and miss. Uh, how about your shells? Are you gonna hit? Nope. You missed. And this time, we're gonna land a hit? Nope. Nope. Okay. One torpedo, we just turn this way, and that torpedo is easily avoided. Yeah, they, they shoot through it, that's kind of annoying. Because those shells weren't meant for the Salzburg, even though that would have been two hits. They were meant for the Vorigsberg. So you can't accidentally hit another ship in a clump, a clump of ships. It bounced. <laughs> it bounced off five inches of armor. Uh, all bounce. I heard your torpedo launch. Where's that other torpedo? Yeah, missed badly. From head on, if one of those hits, it should do a good amount of damage. But all we're doing is bouncing. How did you get that much damage on the main gun? Oh well. You just can't hit. Anything? There we go. Destroyed the funnel. That'll slow it down. It is quite on fire. Yeah, the computer's not happy because of all the shells flying through the air. So how fast are you going? You're still only pulling 17.2 knots. That's good to know. Oh boy, you guys can go fast. 31.5. And that fish is heading what direction? It's going to miss unless one of the destroyers decide to sail in front of it. So boys, are you going to catch that torpedo? Kinda looks like you are. Is that one five inch turret? It's like one five inch turret on the bow. Fire and flooding. Mid deck over pen, nine point five damage. Stern deck. Stern belt extended over pen, three hundred and four. So yeah, it's starting to go wrong for this armored cruiser. Speed things up, all those bounce, speed things up. Fire. No flooding though. Another hit. Two damage to the main tower. Seven inch gun. There you go. Rudder damaged and flooding. It was an amidship hit that somehow damaged the rudder, but there must be the control systems down in here somewhere. So whatever. Oof, destroyed main tower, conning tower damaged. 
that hit it hard. I thought it was a magazine explosion, but it wasn't. You're already... Oh, your funnel's... one of your funnel's attacked. Fire, flooded, funnel, second funnel's destroyed. Stern belt extended over pen. You're not much longer for this world. Look how much water it's taking on and how quick it's taking it too. Destroyed secondary guns. Just a sheer rain of small munitions. And it'll either flood or explode. Another fire. Float is going down. One zero point five, and it is gone. Alrighty. Shoot that one. You're only fifteen point nine kilometers away from me now. Conning tower is damaged. You're taking hits. Your stern gun has been knocked out. Oof. That was a good shot. Took out the torpedo. It's got a couple torpedo launchers on it. Now, this is an either or situation or both. That is the question with this mission. Okay, so you're having a pretty bad day. Rudder's damaged, flooding, over pen, on fire. The destroyers are destroying their destroyers. And the destroyer destroying destroyers destroyer match. You're already down to 50% flotation. 48%, 49%. Steering is out, you're on fire, you're recovering your flotation for the moment. Duriana is down. Uh, destroyed funnel, on fire again. They are running. Look at just the bombardment of small munitions coming in. <laughs> Let's see. Another funnel destroyed, main tower destroyed, conning tower is out. Go through funnel. Oh no, I think one funnel is still intact. A lot of good hits right there. And here comes more. Any more hits? Yep, to torpedo destroyed again. That torpedo is already destroyed, thank you. The effort is appreciated. The smaller shells are doing damage too. The single one is at 5.2 inches of armor. Uh, bounce. And hit or fire. The armor is so thin the 5 inch guns are going through it even at this distance. Okay, destroyed main gun, destroyed the torpedo again, where's that torpedo going? You turn this way. Thirty percent intact. Ah, uh, torpedo. Don't think it's relevant. Oof, main gun on fire. Destroyed the other torpedo launcher on the side. Half the torpedo launchers are done. You only got six inch guns. They call you an armored cruiser. You're not. Uh, 
Section 1 is out. Fire and flooding. And there's a good bunch. Oof. That would, if they were just slightly over to the side. And you're probably going to sink from flotation damage. Yep. Ah, so it really is either the cruisers or the battleship. So using armored cruisers on this mission is entirely viable. Mission complete. And that is all the missions. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I've got no more Naval Academy missions. That kind of just leaves custom battles. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll have a nice update soon. See ya. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because... Otherwise, you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenGeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.